brace yourself because I'm about to say something that you have not expected at all. Active recall alone is not not effective. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Subhav Ramnani and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about active recall first. It's said to be one of the most effective methods in retaining the knowledge. This technique helps to bring long-term memory, which is very important when it comes to studying vast subjects like medicine. However, it can also be very ineffective. Without a correct and positive approach, one cannot expect active recall to help them in studies all the way. Something more is needed. So let me introduce you to Bloom's Taxonomy. So listen up. Somewhere around the 1950s, an American psychologist, Benjamin Bloom, developed a model that described about cognitive processes of learning and mastering the subject. This model was named Bloom's Taxonomy to honor him. Let's start from the base of the mountain and make our way towards the top of the mountain to mastering the subject. Number one, remember and understand. Remembering and understanding are a package deal. Our brain works on practicality. If it understands it, makes sense out of it, it will remember it even during a zombie apocalypse. So it is very important to understand the context. This understanding in our study life can be brought in by reading standardized books, watching a lecture online, paying attention in class, taking notes, or making cartoons or diagrams relevant to information which you've studied. Great, now you have understood the information, but how to remember it for now? That's where our friend Anki comes in. You can recollect the information by spaced repetition and active recall. And want to learn more about Anki? Check out my Anki playlist right here. Let's come to the second part of the pyramid, application. Life is all about applying the knowledge that you have acquired. Do you know the difference between theory and practical? The prime reason why practical is more important? This gap is filled with application. Simply put, reading a cooking recipe on the internet and then actually following the recipe in your own kitchen are two very different things. You need to apply the information from the recipe in your kitchen with your skills and try to replicate the dish. Application can be done by various ways. As a student, the best way is to solve questions. Some knowledge can be applied in practicals which will build a muscle memory for your brain. So basically, when you're applying the knowledge you learn, you are making a stamp on your brain to retain the information better as a whole. Next up is analysis. To understand anything in depth, you should be familiar with all its branches. Analysis and mentally breaking down a concept helps to understand and remember the minute details. For example, when you study a disorder, make a flowchart out of it, categorize the similar set of information like making a comparison between ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease when you're studying inflammatory bowel diseases, organize the information in an orderly manner, try to relate the information to the knowledge from your previous concepts, ask yourself questions, find the possible answers. Analysis can be performed by making mind maps, charts, Venn diagrams, and this allows you to regroup the data, categorize it, and even compare the different aspects and draw conclusions from it. If you ask me, an analyzing the material is one of the most fun and interesting tasks to do. Trust me on this one guys, if you properly work upon the previous steps, you would definitely be able to master the subject taking in the information and perform very well in your exams. The next two steps of this top of the mountain are oriented more towards research and innovation. Let's go on and explore them more. Number four, evaluating. It is said that the brightest of minds get most of the ideas by criticism and questions they ask themselves in the process. It is very important to examine the knowledge and make judgments on it. These judgments allow you to gain additional knowledge. Criticism and judgment can make you more research oriented and can help you solve the drawbacks of your previous studies. Number five and the top of the mountain, creating. It is better to create than to learn. Creating is the essence of life. Julius Caesar. Creation is the base of anything and everything. Even our universe was created by chemical interactions between subatomic particles. Just like that, you can review the studied information and try to innovate into new directions that maybe no one has ever explored before. Maybe you can invent a new procedure, a new finding or an entirely new machine. The possibilities are endless. You just need to let your creative side take control. So buckle up and hopefully after this video you can focus on your tasks in a more structured manner and go beyond the notion of just active recall. That was all for today's video guys. As always, stay healthy, stay safe and stay mad but just about medicine. This technique helps to blend zombie apocalypse. Apocalypse, not complex, apocalypse.